Okay, good, 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 good. Hi. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. My desk behind me has become a huge source of anxiety for me. I've just let it like pile up and get worse and worse. This over here, we're collecting boxes. This office is chaos. But, oh my God, this is so bad. bad, bad, bad. I literally just, I've, I've just avoided it. So today we're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. We're gonna get what we can get done, done. And what we can't get done, we will do tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna have to start doing because I gotta, I gotta face the problem. <laughs> but it's just been such a like place of anxiety and I just don't wanna deal with it. So that's what we're doing today. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Is it 100%? No, I gotta pick that up. But it's a start and that was 15 minutes and that's it. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm going to start, I was just crying because he can't come back here. I'm about to be done though. Um, what I'm gonna start doing is setting little timers like that. We are going to start purging very soon. We kinda already have. Um, because moving is stressful enough, being pregnant is stressful enough. <laughs> and I'm combining them. Plus I have a 13 month old and I don't want to be purging while moving. It's just not my goal. So on the weekends, we're trying to start taking real advantage of the time that we have and just purging what we can and cleaning and organizing and getting things sorted out. So I'm gonna go mess with Chunky Man. I think we're actually gonna go to the park later. It's the heat of the day right now, so we'll wait a little while, but yeah, that's what we're doing. 15 minutes, it actually can get, you can get so much done. This house is a disaster. Okay, so got a little Amazon box unboxing here we're gonna do. I'm so happy they actually shipped everything in three boxes. I asked for like, you know, they condense all the deliveries all the time and they like rarely do it. Um, but while I'm unboxing this, I will go ahead and tell y'all. So I keep saying that I am going to take and show y'all the house and then I won't be able to, but like, I want to show y'all so much of it now because there's just, there's so much fun stuff happening, but there's always people there. And it would really annoy me if I was trying to do my job and someone busted up in my job site with a camera. Even if they own the place, I'd be like, can you not? So, um, wow, they actually did a really good job packaging this. I'm surprised. So um, I keep saying like, I want to show y'all stuff. The house is coming along, moving so nicely, but they, um, I, I just, the workers are there till, I mean, dark, basically. Yeah, I'm not gonna open all of them. The workers are there until dark and I just don't wanna get in their way, so I'll go and I know like how to be out of their way, but I don't wanna be recording. So I'm very impressed. Y'all always do the like condensed if you can, but this is like the first time they've actually done it and I'm so impressed. So I got some of these BPA-free plastic food storage organizer bin because I desperately needed some of these for the pantry. Um, we're really big like snack bar people. I'm not sure if y'all can see them up there. We're very into like snack bars and stuff. And so they're just not like the easiest to store. Um, I also got a bunch of clear glass containers in various, I really, I think I'm just gonna wait honestly until we get moved in to unbox these. Um, I got a bunch of these though because we need some for um, our pantry. I have really been into baking lately as I've told y'all. Like I think I shared the lemon bar recipe in last vlog. Um, so I just need something to store the flour and sugar in and then I did get a big one. A big one. I think I got two. Yeah, I did get two. I don't wanna pull these out. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave these, honestly. Okay, these are 
ridiculous. I'm not sure if they're gonna work. So I priced out, and I mentioned this on my Instagram the other day, I wanted to get Ezra and the new baby each these little bags. One bag each, one blue, one green, and I wanted to get their names on them. Ezra has four letters, the baby in my belly has five. And I said, okay, I'm gonna get them some cute little bags, custom bags, because you know, their diapers are so noticeably different in the beginning. Their outfits are so noticeably different in the beginning. But I feel like when you're looking at a bag and you're kind of frantic trying to get a diaper out because of a blowout or something, or a change of clothes, very quickly, like a size three diaper may not look that different compared to a size five. So I wanted to get them individual bags and we'll just carry their personal stuff in here. $338.35 for two PVC bags with nine total patches. <laughs> no ma'am because it was like $15 a patch so I'm going to I think DIY it I don't know if these are that's the thing someone said like are you not nervous about ironing them on and I was like oh god attention to see if these are like adhesive or if they're iron on and I think they are iron on I have some E6000 I think that's the glue um let's see Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to glue these on. <laughs> That's my bad, but I don't know. Let's we'll see. I don't know if these are gonna work. Oh, ugh. maybe not. Oh no. See, this is what happens when I try to DIY things myself. I'll clean that up in a second. I'm gonna get new patches. Let's see what else we've got. Let's see what else we've got in here. Looks like we have one clothing item. This was my dress that I ordered. I had this dress in green and white. And I liked it, but I felt like the green and white just wasn't the, you know, the easiest to style so many ways. So I got this and I thought it was actually really cute. It has one cutout on it. It's a bump friendly dress that has a little cutout on the top. Some people may think that's so weird to wear like pregnant, but I think it's cute. We can wear, we can wear cutouts too. I can't remember what these are. Matte gold tone. Oh, my bracelets. Okay. Ooh, I like these. So I am all about bracelets lately. And I have absolutely love these like how they're kind of a like a more muted like this is a very bright gold these are a little bit more muted oh those are so pretty i love a lot of bracelets y'all know that though all right more glass dishes drawer organizers set of six i don't remember what this is like at all oh Okay, so I got some of these. My plan is to separate out, you can just kind of see it here. My plan is to kind of separate out based on like my bathroom, Sam's, or my vanity, Sam's vanity, and then both of the boys. Um, the boys don't have like a ton of stuff that they really need organized right now. Like Ezra has soap, lotion, um, you know, like toothpaste and a toothbrush. That's really all he has in his drawers. Um, and then the new baby, they don't really need a ton of stuff, but I would still like for what's in there to not get overwhelmingly unorganized. So I got two of those for the boys. Stackable bottle rack clear. Okay, I'm gonna open this and show it to y'all because this is the coolest thing. So it holds, I believe, 10 bottles and we are water bottle people we're stanley cup people i'm a stanley cup person and this is literally a water bottle holder for your cabinet so you stack i don't know if there's really a top and a bottom they both look exactly the same they had i think some that held four water bottles they had some that held five i got the 10 but you literally just put that in your cabinet and it holds your water bottles i love it i love it camera battery's dying hold on okay that's awesome i'm so excited about that that is like the coolest thing ever. I cannot wait to have good storage in this house. Again, it's like, it seems ridiculous. I've been ordering this stuff probably since February. You can spend a mortgage's worth on like organization stuff alone. And that's just expensive and I don't want to do it. And I also don't want to let it get uh, 
super pushed off. So I have been slowly buying it. Now, why did we put this in a different box? And then this is the very unexciting thing. Ezra's diapers because they are the same price at Target as they are on Amazon. And Target did not have a box of the hundred. And I usually get a hundred at a time because that boy can go through some diapers. So, all right, that's all. I'm gonna ditch, figure out what to do with these patches. Um, I think I gotta get new ones, which bums me out because I liked the color, but that's on me for not looking at the size and that they weren't, you know, <laughs> that they weren't um, adhesive on the back. I didn't even see them do this. They came fast. So walk way up to the house. I can't believe that doing, yes I can, that this was cheaper <laughs> than doing rocks. Oh, oh this is, look mom's got her shoes on too. Yeah. All right, you wanna go see? Oh my boy. Oh, have you not seen? <gasps> OMG. And then. Wow. Okay, I just had a total freak out. I probably had to edit that out. Would be able to keep the chandelier in here. I know. The fact that you're in here going, mm, when you fan. I know, it's so hot in here. That was placed wrong. I don't even know if I've explained this in the vlog. We thought this light was going to go there, electrician thought it was going to go here. We love it here, but we have to have a fan. That is the, uh, that Look. Is the that's the fan, so that's one. So that's, that's one coat of paint. Oh. Shining through, that's the great primer. That's what it is. You can that see. is absolutely, and we're gonna have black, black um, shelves. Oh my gosh. It's insane. Okay, wall color is alabaster, which is the color of our cabinets. Look how pretty these are. They make sounds. I've like admired these from Revolve forever now and I finally got them and I'm kicking myself for waiting as long as I did, but they don't go with my outfit. I just wanted to show them to you. Look how cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Sam's gotta take this to our building today. This is what moving in four to six weeks looks like. It's just chaos around. Oh, look. I feel like you can't even like, like you can't appreciate how good it looks, but it's, I mean, truthfully, we did not think that this was going to happen. <laughs> truthfully, we didn't think this was going to happen because the price of concrete kept going up, kept going up, but it actually came in under budget to do the entire driveway. So all of this, like we literally were not sure if we were going to do even like gravel. Well, we just didn't know, but Hold on, I know it's kind of boring to look at this. I'll show you what it looks like up close to the house. Whole concrete pad. I know, it looks so good. And then gotta be careful because there is mud literally everywhere, but we decided to do a full walkway. Um, we thought about doing gravel and then pavers, but this um, was actually cheaper, which I was surprised to hear. So here's this. I'm not sure what they got rigged up here, but these are, this, this is the stair solution we're going with. Um, you can, there's a third stair. Those are gonna be painted white. And then we'll have one handrail, I think. Or maybe two, I'm not sure, but we'll have a handrail and then that's white. So, got the black doors on the front. And then we opted to do white on the back. The painter said this is actually more popular and like what looks better. So, got the black. Um, I don't think I vlogged out here the other day. I don't really remember. So I'll put up a picture here of what we're doing, but concepts kind of hard right now. It's going to be screen from top to bottom and then rail all the way. And then door right there and then black doors here as well. That's still like covered. They have like a plastic wrap because these were black. So looks good. But I definitely think, I still look at it, especially right here, and look at the walls. Sorry, they're creamier, they're creamier than the ceiling. He's really talking like that. I know, he holds his hand. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you just have feelings? You got rough feelings? 
Mommy talks with her hands. I know the wall color is so creamy. I love it. So we went with alabaster, which is the exact same color as the cabinets. And it is gorgeous. And then I've showed y'all this like a hundred times. I'm probably so boring and repetitive at this point. But I get asked a lot. So these are from Lowe's. I'll link them below. But we picked them because they have the cool and the warm and then white. And we're going with a light gray grout. And it'll be here. We're not doing it in the pantry just because that is going to be butcher block. And then we don't want like this fancy backsplash. So that's going to be butcher block. And then we'll have it here. And then it will actually just be from here, there, and then up to the bottom because of how thin that is. I did not want to take it all the way up. That just seemed very unnecessary. If this was smaller maybe, or if there was like a bigger gap, but since there's such a small gap, we're doing it to there. I think it's gonna look amazing. And these are the drawers that are yours, right? There were three drawers that were like misordered in size. And so the cabinet guy literally was like, I mean, I'll take them. Like, no, Sam wants them for something. And he was like, okay, just tell him he can have them. And then under here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Yeah, just watch and make sure he didn't run out on that back thing. I think I told you all this. Come here, baby. I'm only gonna be right. Come here. Where's this from? I can't remember where the wallpaper's from. Pattern Collective. Ooh. The Pattern Collective. That's where it's from. And it's gorgeous. What you doing, Chuck? What you doing, Chucky? And don't worry, they have cleaned up a good bit in here. The paper just literally has dust on it. Do you like exploring your new house? Oh. So this is the coolest thing. So this is actually in the wrong location. So is that light? This was the light that if you follow me on Instagram, it went missing. It was supposed to go in the entryway. We just, it was actually, the box was hard to read. So we didn't know it was there. He put it, the electrician put it there. It's too big. Can't use it at all. It makes us very sad. But what was supposed to go there is actually that. So, um, you just can't not have ceiling fans in this house. Like it's just not an option. So this will go, you know, in the living room. But all of the ceiling pans, we bought them all from Harbor Breeze. Every single one of them have a, well, so first I will. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I didn't have the light thing on. So yeah, good Lord. This, I'm gonna have to, there we go. <laughs> and then give it a second. I hit, that was speed four. So, what? Does that remote have the option to reverse the blades or do you actually No, you actually have to get up there and do it yourself. Oh! <gasps> because that was the wrong direction. But that, that's the way it should be. I think it does, because it's slowing down. It is. It's going to stop itself and go. Oh! Cool! Good. That's the way it should be. So it should go like that? That's the right direction? Uh, believe so for... You'll feel it in a second if it is. Time of year. Oh yeah, maybe a difference. Yeah, okay. And then, that's four. I mean, obviously this is the living room fan, but... Oh yeah, come stand over here. Whoa! Oh yeah, I can feel it from over here. You like the tub, Chuck? You're gonna get to play in the bathtub too. I know, you can probably get your first bath in this bathtub. Ah! Awesome. Okay. So turn that off. Turn the light off. 
We're gonna make sure we don't have access. So here's the thing about these. These are also Harbor Breeze. Not sure if you can see the difference in the remote. No. These are not near as fancy, which isn't a huge deal, but they also are not universal. So, they are, well, the, right the blades can be flipped, so we're actually gonna have them flip it to black. But this is the remote for the baby's room. I'm not sure, it's not focusing. Um, this cannot be used in Ezra's room, so we're gonna have to label these and just be very mindful that like, you cannot lose these little things. Um, which, I mean, obviously we would not wanna lose them in the first place, but kids are just, you know, kids. <laughs> this is baby brother's room. Do you like it? How do I do this again? Oh, right there. Do you like baby brother's room? Does it look cool? You gonna run around in here with him? Cutie. So it's kind of dark in here because there's no light, but we opted to do, I think I mentioned this to y'all, wire shelving in the boys because they will do built-ins eventually. You just can't get built-ins like from Ikea right now. And kids, so much of kids' closets are just like storage. So we just have wired shelving, but they have a lot of shelves on one side. No, there's not even a light in here. Oh, there's a light in there? Oh, okay, well, so there's a light in there, but not in here. You wanna put the can in there yet? It keeps flipping back and forth, but that will be, I'm assuming for like shoes and stuff. And then, um, you know, hanging stuff, but like so much of Ezra's closet right now is literally just storage, so. Ah. So, we are gonna head home, cook some dinner, or chunky man, and I'm gonna call this vlog, so we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>